Hello everyone. As part of my art integrated project in chemistry, the topic I have chosen is Tyndall effect. What is Tyndall effect? Tyndall effect is a phenomenon in which the particles in a colloid scatter the beams of light that are directed at them. It was first discovered by the Irish physicist John Tyndall and was named after him. When a beam of light passes through a colloid, the colloidal particles present in the solution do not allow the beam to completely pass through it. The light collides with the colloidal particles and gets scattered. It is exhibited by all colloidal solutions and some very fine suspensions. Tyndall effect is used to verify if a given solution is a colloid. The intensity of scattered light depends on the density of the colloidal particles as well as the frequency of the incident light. Longer wavelength light is transmitted while shorter wavelength light is reflected by scattering. Blue light is scattered to a greater extent when compared to red light. This is because the wavelength of blue light is smaller than that of red light. This is the reason why smoke released by motorcycles sometimes appears blue. The diameters of the particles that cause Tyndall effect can range from 40 to 900 nanometers. In comparison, the wavelength of visible light spectrum ranges from 400 to 750 nanometers. Now, let's demonstrate the Tyndall effect. We'll begin by filling three beakers with distilled water. In the first, we'll leave just the water. In the second, we'll dissolve a spoonful of sugar. And in the other, we'll stir a few drops of milk. First, we'll shine the laser through the beaker containing only water. Although we cannot see the light beam as it is passing through the water, we are able to see it as it emerges unchanged from the other side. Now, let's shine our laser through the second beaker containing sugar solution. Once again, we cannot see the light beam as it passes through the solution, but we are able to see it as it emerges from the other side again unchanged. Finally, we will shine our laser through the third beaker which has milky water. In this case, we are able to clearly see the light beam as it passes through the liquid. This appearance of light beam passing through a liquid is the result of Tyndall effect. Now let's see what happens to the light beam. For that, let's take a closer look at what's in each beaker. In distilled water, any particles are too small to obstruct the path of light as it passes through, which means we won't be able to see the beam. A solution such as the sugar solution we made is a homogeneous mixture made up of only one phase. The solute, in this case the sugar, will dissolve in the solvent which is the water and take the characteristics of the solvent. Which means once again we won't be able to see the light beam passing through it. Colloid, however, has two phases. The dispersed phase, which is the milk particles and the dispersion medium, which is the water. In colloid, light will scatter the dis in different direction due to dispersed particles. But in water and in true solution such as a sugar solution, it will pass through without being scattered. Here are a few examples for Tyndall effect. Blue color or smoke from motorcycles or two-stroke engines. The visible beam of headlights in fog. The blue eye color is from Tyndall scattering through the translucent layer over the ice iris. Opalescent glass has a bluish appearance when viewed from the side. However, orange colored light emerges when light is shined through the glass. With that, we come to the end of the presentation. I thank everyone for giving me the opportunity for such a wonderful learning experience. Thank you.